And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can, you know, keep up with my videos. Today I'm here with another video. As you can see, I am a bald-headed scatterleg. Ain't got no hair in the back. But today's video is about my hair and why am I bald again. Um... So, I'm a girl that always don't know what I want to do with my hair, so um, every blue moon I do wild crazy stuff and lately, before the bald head, I had a shortcut and I was doing a lot of colors. I post a few pictures in between here, but I was doing a few colors and my last color was a pink color and sad to say I'm over the color. I was over the cut. I love my cut, but... I was just over it and ready to start something new. So something new is me growing my hair back, but natural. And of course I was natural at first, but I wasn't really natural because I had like color damage. You know, that's what the natural say. I had like a color damage and plus my hair wasn't all the same length. And to grow it back now, I wanted it to be all the same length. So I decided to start over. I want to say, July something is the day I cut my hair and I post the picture and I also post the date when I did my big chop and um, so far so good. I always liked it my um, low cut before so to come back to it was it's really nice and I'm enjoying it because I don't have to do anything to my hair at the moment besides wrap it and brush it and I've been using the leave-in conditioner which I'm going to show you in a second. But this will be my second journey. I'm not doing any more color. I probably won't straighten my hair for maybe the first two years. Um, I really don't want to do much to my hair besides just let it grow and get my natural curl back. And, you know, and I just wanted to share my journey with you guys so you can watch me grow. And if anybody else is doing a hair journey in 2019, you know, we can all start this journey together and if you started before me girl good luck so the Garnier slick and shine intensive smooth leave-in conditioner cream is what i've been using on my hair and i just squirt a little bit and put it throughout my hair and then i actually wrap it with a scarf at least leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes or while i'm doing my um makeup or whatever and i'm excited to start this journey and I'm a sexy ball. Everybody loves my ball hair. To me, I shouldn't grow it back, but the hair is coming back. Sorry, guys. I'll be back with a three month update video for my hair so you guys see how it's growing. And if you can hear the thunder in this video, sorry, but it is raining outside. But, you know, gotta do what I gotta do with my updated video in three months to show you how much my hair has grown what new products that I'm using and what new techniques I'm using and stuff like that to help my hair grow but I feel like I'm off to a good start starting on even starting on clean I feel like if you want to go natural the best thing to do is just start completely over a lot of people do uh what's the thing called transitioning and stuff like that but I feel like if you're confident enough to rock a ball head like me because you know just just get you a logo and rock it like this if you're confident to do your hair like this because everybody felt like they can't do this look and i understand that but if you can i would i would definitely suggest you start with the big chop and just cut it completely off okay guys that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Perfect. Perfect.